Okay guys, Walt Crook Daddy Carpenter here. I am here to show you another video. This video we're gonna change out our bearings. I got my brand new MBX7 Eco here. I'm gonna take the old bearings out and I'm gonna replace them with new ceramic bearings by Boca Bearings, the best bearing company there is. We're just gonna do a quick video on the wheels show people how to change them out on their MBX7 Ecos or the MBX7 World Champion Edition car. I want to show the easiest way to prep up your car for for the next race. You want to get those bearings out of it. If it's crunchy bearings, replace them. Me, I like to use Boca bearings, ceramic bearings. Reason why, the orange seal, I like. They're a little expensive, but better over the regular dollar bearings, but you're 50% faster. I mean, these bearings are a whole, whole lot, you know, big difference. A, B, A, C, A, B, E, C. Uh, the seals, the seven tolerance, you know, you can, uh, it's, 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 it's like anybody say, you want to try to do all kind of hop-ups to your cars to make it a lot faster. I mean, they got the SI 3N4 balls ceramic balls in them uh, is a little bit better than the regular steel bearings they're a lot lighter uh, which a lot of wheels will spin at least 50 percent faster if not more depending on uh, the setup of the car of course um, they just is 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 uh Boca bearing sell bearings literally for any kind of installation rather it's a bicycle or RC car or, uh, anything anything that that uh, requires a bearing rather what size check bulk of bearings out and uh, they they work with you they're great people over there I mean and uh, and it's a big difference especially if you in heavy competition where you racing or doing any kind of pastime hobby or sport so you want to deal with Boca bearings they have the best lightweight ceramic bearings uh, they have steel bearings uh, they even have bearings without the seals bearings with rubber seals you know so okay let's get to this quick installation I like to spray a little you, you don't have to because the bearings come a little uh, prepped up already they already have the grease I just like to put a little a little spray around them just to assure me that my bearings not going to get dirt in them when you're dealing with the outside wheels you're going to get a lot of dirt and stuff in the wheels um, all the time so you know and then when you get a chance to break down your bearings and your wheels you can also catch do a little maintenance on other spots uh, clean a little dirt out here and there you know so let's 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 go at it real fast and see where I can set this camera down at, and we're gonna do it now. If y'all got you guys noticed on the six and the seven, the seven, the six actually had right here. They they didn't have this little like stopper that's made. This is made on the seven into the pillar balls, and it stops. That makes sure assures your camber and uh, wheel adjustments are always perfect but the six didn't have it so you had to screw in and kind of find your way back when this setting Mugen did decided to come with that little washer already welded onto the pillar balls so now me I use a ruler of thumb and then the bottom of course you got the washer but me I use a ruler of thumb you got a longer on the bottom and the shorter way here to make it faster to get it out in and out I always you can either do it either way because one way is gonna adjust for the the other way so you have a short way and a long way so what I'm gonna do since you know you can't mess this up or, or offset your your wheel camber at all because this has a washer this has the little washer already welded on there so we could take uh let's do the top take the top out see if we can get it out that way the fastest then the next side other side we'll do we'll do the back so let's see if I can turn this around 
so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, let's see. That's pretty good right there. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I like the when, like I said, maintenance. You always can do a little extra. I like to get a little toothbrush, clean little little spots of it off. Now you're gonna have to get these hoes off. That's gonna require a 2.5 wrench to get in there. I like to use a little simple pair of little wires or grips or something that can. There you go. Once you break that nut loose, you can screw it out. I screw mine all the way out because I actually clean it, the grub screw, because it has dirt and I like to lock tight it. Because you don't want to have a car that's running around while you're on the track and the wheel and the hub come off. That's because the person didn't put lock tight on it. So, I got it clean. We'll sit that to the side. Okay, and then you get that pin out. You got a pin right in there. Slide that out. And then it should come right off nice and smooth. Now me, I like to take my brush. I like to clean all my little parts. Get the little dirt because wherever you got dirt, that's going to cause stuff to bind up. And you don't need that. Then, you know, just a little simple. You'd be surprised what a little simple that little simple maintenance will do on the car. So now I'm going to take this screw out of the pillar ball. We're going to unscrew the pillar ball off of the AR. Okay. It's real simple. And it's out. Then you can take that on out. And then kind of just pull it to the side work it out and there you go okay I like to take to get the old bearing out I like to take I mean sometimes they fall right out sometimes you gotta tap them a little bit just like that and there's your old bearing old stock bearing so what I'm gonna do with this let me get something to clean I like to clean stuff as I go so I'm going to put a little bit on there. I like to clean my dog bones, everything, make sure nothing, everything clean. These bearings normally be kind of hard getting off. See if I can pop it off with my hand. There we go. Cool. Alright, I like to take a little rag. It's good to do the job right one time and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now we're going to install a new one. Well, let's tell you what, let's clean the, clean the track that the bearing has to actually sit in. Put the rag and we'll do the inside as well. Okay, so it's all clean. Everything nice, good to go. What we'll do, we'll add the one in there. And of course we have the bigger one. We'll add inside like that. Okay. I like to put a little spray. Some people use grease. I like to spray my, I don't want, you know, anytime you got metal, touch your metal. You want to try to, you know, keep it oiled and lubed at all times. Let's see. Okay. All right, we got that one seated. Now you can slide this new one onto the shit dog bone shaft and the axle. Okay. Now we're going to take this. Put it back in here. Alright. Let's see with this. Mugen made that little uh, hinge. You can't go no farther. Simple. Dimple. Alright. Now we go over here to the grub screw. Put a little Loctite on there. Just a little dot. All right, we're gonna take our hub. I like to take the hub on the hole on the screw, 
the hole on the actual axle I like to go sideways that way my pin don't fall out at all let's see if I could do it for you guys to see it and then I take the side where the actual hub go on to the axle right there then it allow me to come slide it right in the side and I don't have to worry about it falling right out from up under then I'm going to take my Okay, my grub screw is in with the Loctite. Take my little tools and crank her down. Then you also want to get the little excess oil uh, Loctite out of there just in case. You don't want nothing in there to get binded up on you. Okay, nice and free. Alright, let's jump right on the back. Okay, we got the the old ones. Let's put those there. Now the same way as that, this time you're gonna use that, and I'm gonna use a drill. We're gonna use a little nut driver drill to pull them on out of there real fast. Got the nut out. Got the screw out. Okay. Now I like to take a two. Oh. I want to bend your screw. Slide it over here so you guys can see that a little bit better. Let's see if I can zoom in like that. Oh. There we go. Okay. Okay, it popped right out. So now we got to do the same thing first. We want to take that hub out. So we're going to take that set screw out of there, lock it down, crank it like that, let it go, hold it a little bit. Like I said, I like to take the screw completely out to clean it. As you can see, it has a uh, old thread lock, a Loctite on there. We're going to clean that up. Alright, then we're going to pop this pin right out the side. Real simple. Pull the hub off. Take your toothbrush. Clean all of that up. Dirt that's in there. Hub comes. The shaft comes right out. Hub comes out. Bearing comes off. Sit that there. Take this here. See if we can pop her out of there. There we go. This is easy, simple maintenance. See, look at these bearings here. Super dirty. We're going to set those to the side. Alright, I'm going to take a little cleaner. While I got my parts and stuff out, give them a little spray here and there. Hit that. Take the brush. Maintenance is the key. You don't want no binding. I love Boca bearings because the bearings are fast, very fast. It's a big difference. You'll notice immediately while you're driving your car. They even have for the electric motors, the nitro motors, you can use these bearings. And I'm telling you, I put these in all my motors. Um, everything, everything. I put ceramics in everything. Ceramics are the best. They're lighter. No, Not much drag at all. When I mean, Boca really outdid themselves with these bearings. So, okay. Let's clean that down real good. Inside, outside. You don't want to, you want to get that dirt out of there because when you don't get that dirt out, it's going to have a serious bind. No matter is it a new bearing or old bearing. So make sure you get get your clean on serious clean on I mean just take a second to get the job done right okay clean in there alright now we're good to go everything's clean everything's wiped down let's go with the installation we got the outside bearing got that in I like to put I always uh, it's, just, it's pet peeve for me. I put the inside bear. It ain't gonna do anything but pop back out anyway. So I don't know. That's just that's just me. Maybe everybody else do it. 
as well, but it's gonna pop back out as soon as I put it in. See, see what I tell you. I told you it's gonna pop out. I told you. I knew it. I knew it. Ten points for wall. Okay, so we in right there. Let's put this bad boy back together. Yeah. I can't wait to try it out. MBX7 is an awesome car. You can outdid themselves with this one. Won a championship. Robbie and Chris got it going on. Okay, as soon as it popped through, let's put that screw back up there. Oh. Put the wrench on there. Let's do it right. There we go. I don't like I don't like to do them too tight up on that because the screw is long enough. You don't need to be on too tight, too tight, because all it's gonna do is uh it's gonna sandwich together. You ain't gonna be in trouble. Okay, once again I turn it sideways. Actually that one's a little up because I'm facing down on it. And then when you do that a different way outside, I don't know what you normally do. It always works out different. Alright, we're gonna go with the grub screw. Take the grub screw, wiping it down, put a little Loctite on it, okay, okay, just tighten that hub down, I got the two millimeter hubs on here too, I like getting a little more stability, okay, and just like that, you all together. Boca Barons, guys. Best Baron in town. ABC number sevens. These Barons are awesome. 50% lighter. You got the stock. Regular steel. And you got the ABC bearings. Big, big difference, guys. It's going to make your car a lot faster and smoother. You want smooth and consistency? Add those bearings to your car. You got the MBX7 Eco right here. Boca bearings, guys. Get you some bearings. ABAC number sevens. I like the orange seal for off-road conditions. You also have the yellow for the on-road conditions. Make Boca bearings your way to go. Walk Crook Daddy Carpenter. I'll see you soon.